We'll start us off with the good news on the side of weather and that is there's still some areas where we're seeing peaks of sunshine in West Michigan, but you can see the clouds along the horizon really turned overcast here in cold water. And the bad news is it's getting darker in some areas. This is completely overcast guys. They've just overtaken a lot of West Michigan here in the last hour, hour and a half or so. This is in Montcalm County looking to the west, so that includes parts of uh, Newago County and out towards the lake shore as well in Muskegon County. Just complete overcast skies. You can see it's continuing to filter in from the west and it is just taken over, especially north of Holland and Grand Rapids. Still peaks of sunshine down in Barrie, Calhoun and Branch counties. High pressure systems still getting pushed out of our area off to the east. The rain has tried to move in, but you can see that it's really filtered out in terms of uh, just a couple of stray showers over Lake Michigan, not expecting any major uh, sprinkles or even rain this evening. All of us should be dry until we get to tomorrow morning. Now, as for temperatures, because of the cloud cover starting to drop just a touch, 61 in Grand Rapids, Fremont, Holland, and South Haven. Still holding on to 63 in Kalamazoo Battle Creek area, but it's still a fairly chilly day. Again, topped out about 10 to 12 degrees below normal for this time of year in that first day of fall, but it is perfect weather for a football game this evening. Really dry air too. So again, this is helping alleviate that rain chance this evening as the system makes its way over Lake Michigan. Our dew points are in the 30s, most areas 40s along the lake shore. We normally need upper 40s like we're seeing in Milwaukee where that rain will start to precipitate in our area. And thankfully with that, Winds very calm and light uh, out of the south southwest at n some areas calm. Others only about five to 10 miles per hour. So we're not seeing a lot of movement with that either. That'll pick up though as we go throughout overnight tonight into tomorrow. So calm this evening, but then we'll see these winds start to ramp up out of the south and southwest about 10 to 15 miles per hour during the late morning, early afternoon on Saturday. It'll eventually turn westerly throughout the afternoon and evening and then northwesterly on Sunday. That's going to drive in cooler air as this system makes its way through our area. So a lot of the rain off to the south and west of Chicago right now. Some scattered showers in Wisconsin, but that's going to filter out as it makes its way east. And the showers up in Minnesota, those are tracking more so to the north and towards our area. So overnight tonight, we'll see those clouds continue to increase. Some of us will turn overcast to start our Saturday. There's a few spotty showers there on the day as well. Could see some breaks Saturday afternoon, which is kind of nice. Even some potential sunshine down near Kalamazoo. Grand Rapids looks mostly cloudy, though, and then we see more of that rain. Notice the westerly wind turns northwesterly as we go throughout the day on Sunday. These showers are just going to continue to move into our area going throughout the rest of Sunday and into Monday and into Tuesday, potentially into Wednesday morning as well. As for our rain chances and some accumulations just through Sunday night, notice that some areas see about a half an inch of rain, some heavier amounts off to the north of uh, Fremont and Big Rapids. That's because they're going to see just a little bit more rain on Saturday, lighter amounts from I-96 to the south on Saturday, and then it turns a little more widespread here uh, going forward. Temperatures tonight a little bit warmer than they were last night, expecting to be in the upper 40s and lower 50s for all of us, especially with the cloud cover and the rain increasing, not expecting major cool downs overnight Saturday into Sunday. Pretty much the same story. So 65 on Saturday, 63 on Sunday, but Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, three days in a row look to be stuck in the 50s, which is about 15 degrees below average. By the time we get to the end of the work week, we are looking at a nice rebound. Those temperatures will be back to the mid 60s by Friday. It looks like a pretty quiet stretch after what could be.